In these problems, we're doing a little bit of work with identifying and naming polyhedrons. Polyhedrons are, well, they're sort of like polygons, except they're three-dimensional. So they're 3D, and they have flat surfaces. So some examples would be prisms and pyramids. So let's take a look at some of these problems. The first one says, which describes this figure? And I hope you can kind of tell from looking at this that this is basically like a can of soup or um, something like that. And, and we're just being asked to find the name of it. A circular pyramid, a sphere, a cylinder, or a circular prism. Probably you know this one is a, called a cylinder. That's probably a pretty common and well-known shape. Um, a circular pyramid, just to go over what these others are, would have a base that's a circle, and then the sides would come up like a cone there. That would be but a three-dimensional cone-shaped thing. That would be a circular pyramid. A sphere, of course, is just a ball. And then a circular prism. I guess that might be a logical name, another name for a cylinder, but cylinder is our uh, preferred term for that one. Let's look at this next one. It says, which figure can best be described as a right rectangular prism? So a right rectangular prism is going to be this creature right here. This is a cube. This is some other kind of complex prism. It's got a concave side. Uh, so our answer here is going to be A. And this one says, which best describes the polyhedron? So let's take a look at this one. We have, on the base, we have one, two, three, four, five sides. So that's a, a pentagon on the base. And then all the lines here come up and come together at a point, that makes it a pyramid. So we call it a pentagonal pyramid. And you can have all kinds of pyramids. You can have pyramids with bases that are uh, squares, pyramids with bases that are hexagons, uh, pretty much any kind of pyramid you'd want. So that one's pentagonal pyramid. Let's try one other type of problem here. This is about drawing some of these figures in um, certain kinds of perspective. What you'll notice here is we've got this line in the back. That's our horizon line, and it's got two possible points on it. They want us to draw a cube in one-point perspective. And I'll show you how to draw in two-point perspective as well, but let's answer this problem first. And they've given us a start with one line. With one-point perspective, you're going to pick one of these points. I'm just going to pick this one. And then we're going to make a cube here. The first thing I think I'm going to do is just draw the face. The face of a cube looks like a square. And then from the vertices, all lines are going to converge on this vanishing point right there. If I can do this, OK, that's not the straightest. And then, of course, there'd be this line in back that you wouldn't be able to really see. And then we can finish drawing the cube. This back side of the cube, that would be parallel to this line, I'll draw parallel to that line as well as I can. And then the line on the top here that, uh, that would show the back would be parallel to this line. So I'll try to do that as well as I can. <laughs> Not the greatest. And then these other lines are just really my guidelines. So I'm going to just darken in the actual cube part. And that is my attempt at drawing a cube in one point perspective. Now if you were going to do this in two point perspective, you'd use both those lines. So let's set it up the way they began. And what would happen here is I'd start actually just drawing my guidelines, but vanishing to both points. And then I can fill in my cube like this. And let's see if I can do this right. So that's roughly, well, it doesn't look very cube-like. It looks more like a rectangular prism. But that's roughly the uh, approach you'd take to make the drawing of a cube in two-point perspective. So those are some problems with polyhedrons, identifying them and drawing them. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off campus. It's an online project-based school for 7th through 12th graders. If you're in Minnesota and you want to check us out, you can see us at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.